How's it going, boys? So today we are playing a pretty interesting deck. Oh yes, this deck is better than deck 27, which you have not seen because it's garbage. So, probably speaks magnitudes, I know. But it's pretty good, it's pretty fun, and I'm not saying that because I have an inherent bias towards myself. Oh no, 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 no. I am saying that because... Two Fibblebibs, four Incubation Druids, four Paradisio Druids, two Blooming Boys, two Kletos Gods of De Destiny, aka the, you know, not scantily clad one, which is a shame to be honest, uh, four Urus, four Spark Doubles, two Cavaliers of Glaives, two Iron Scale Hydras, and yes, you're probably asking why Iron Scale Hydras. Well, you know, there's not exactly a terrific uh, creature choice on 5 mana. So, you know, it, it, I like the art. Three Vivian's monster adversaries. And boys, let me tell you already, this Vivian is slowly growing on me. So, from this day onward, this Vivian is proclaimed a solid 6.35. Oh yes, that's a 0 0.05 increase on the scale. And knowing wizards, the next Trivian is gonna probably be a solid 1 out of 10. So let's enjoy it while we can. 3 Chandra's Mill versions and 4 Genesis Ultimatums. And a bunch of lands! 4 Ket uh, Ketria Triomes and 4 Fable Passages. And 24 lands to be specific. So this is a Genesis Ultimatum deck, but it's a fun one because it does stuff. I, don't, I, I know, amazing. So yeah, this is the deck. It's an absolute beast of a chad of a deck. And I do like it. I do like it a lot. It's fun, for some reason. I never... Well, this was the... Well, this is literally the last deck I am I am probably gonna design on this standard rotation. So after it's historic. And I am, I am okay with that. Because this is a deck that I like. It's fun. And we don't exactly need a lot more than just that. To enjoy a deck now, do we? Okay, so let's get a forest. Didn't change the lands because again, after to after today, everything is gonna be forgotten. Let's see. We want this. Pay that life. Establish a little bit of a little bit of that dominance. Then we're gonna play an incubation grandma and a steam vents, and it's gonna be phenomenal. Wait, what? Oh wait, we wait. Ah, that's bad. Well, not in particularly, uh, you know, life-changing or devastating, but pretty bad. Pretty annoying. Okay, enemy gun. so explain to me, why do you have that? No, seriously, question and answer time, why do you have that? And now I'm gonna have to press decline every time. Jesus Christ, that, that's, that's seriously amazingly annoying. Well, anyway, that's one Chandra emblem. Nice. I know, enemy gun. It... The deck is kind of made to do that, like, a lot also, you know, just, 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 OH JESUS! Wait, do I even have ways to heal in this deck? I think I don't? Okay, so we're going tit for tat at this moment in time, which is probably not the best choice in life, but hey, it's fine. Submit zero. Not submit anything, do this, and keep up pumping Chandra. And maybe we're gonna achieve greatness. He has only three cards, so currently this game is going like extremely question question mark, not gonna lie, boys. Okay, yes, that was honestly expected, but hey, that's just life. You expect the unexpected, well, you don't expect the unexpected. Okay, so let's do this, decline, even though I could have paid, but... Do, 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 do you think I'm gonna pay even if I can? Like... Oh, wait! That was stupid! Okay, we're, we're a little bit... Okay, it doesn't matter. We're emblem spamming like, like, like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Okay, so wait. Did I have a way to heal with this deck? I, I honestly don't remember. Anyway, it doesn't look like he's killing this Chandra. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be the lamest matchup in the history of matchups. Epic! And look, wizards fi oh, okay. Eh, that's bad. Decline, I'm not gonna pay you money. Okay, let's see. 
And now we can do... Oh, I, d I can't... I t can't risk taking that damage. And how many? One, two, three, four, five. Wizards, please, also fix this part. It's, like, seriously annoying. Okay, how am I gonna do this? If I get hit... He dies in a couple... He dri dies in three, uh, three turns now, so all I need to do is essentially keep myself safe. Or alternatively, pump this bad boy up to five or something, and then it's amazing. Oh yes, boys, living the risky life. Don't tell me that I did bad because I felt my inner man say that I must do that, and so I did. Also, this guy lo looks really dead, so, booyah. Oh yeah, boy. And you know what? You know what, boys? I didn't even get the didn't even get the thingy. Okay, you know what, boys? As a side note, for ending, we're gonna also do this. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Pure spite, nothing else. Honestly, you don't need nothing else but pure spite in your life. Okay, so now we dropped her, which doesn't exactly do a lot, but hey, it's a cute card. A good game, enemy kunu. Yes, this was a match. This was not a match of magic. This was a ma uh, this was a battle of well, I don't know, Chadliness, and obviously I win over a dragon. Jesus Christ, he has a dragon avatar. I am a dragon. Have you read my name? It literally says the Great White Dragon. Oh, yes. They didn't allow me to put that to end of the KKK, so that, that, that's a little bit of my... <laughs> Back, okay. So that's a little bit of minus, so... You know, that... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can't. Can't. That, that, that's, that's just too funny for myself. Oh, a Vivian Chan. Oh, sweet Vivian... You poor girl, you have absolutely no clue what's gonna happen. Can't blame you though. Well, I can and I will. Paul Paul Slayer 696. Ah, oh, that's a cuck name. Not gonna lie, boys. You see, that six is his internet waifu. That nine is well, not him. And that six who's looking away is him. Yep, that's that that's the name. Okay, why do I feel threatened? Oh, because it's stuff. Well, that explains why I felt threatened. Ah, this is an aggro deck you're saying. Well, I have a Vivian Chan on Curvature. So that's not bad. Also, I can play this Uru thing, which will give me a little bit of time. And if we're lucky, he doesn't drop the 2-2 two, two green fox runner dude that gets pumped up by stuff getting dropped and that would be amazing but considering it looks like a mono green okay what <sighs> eh yeah eh indeed okay so the good part is we're gonna be able to play a Vivian Chan, like, really soon, really now. Uh, which is good! Again, which is again good! In most retrospects, and now we need a, g a green, a blue land, like, very, very much. And this is becoming a problem! I hope he doesn't have Trample, but my feelings of him having- Oh, we have it on green. It's like Ruby rooting for Drong. Oh, come on! That is just disgusting. Uh, you couldn't, you, cu you couldn't have actually gotten anything better, huh? Well, if we, we, we kind of are forced to at this moment. Now, the Vivian's insta dying. This is not gonna be enough. The Chandra can kill him. We need to do this. As sad as it may seem, because we don't exactly have too many options at this moment in time. You know, this... We can't even... Where is my Hydra? Where is my invulnerable, manly... Oh, okay, we're just dead, huh? No, wait, we serve... No, wait, we're just dead. Let's be real here. Okay, so yeah, that was one of those classic, fantastic, hey, uh, you lose type of situations. Okay. Wizards, 
good good matchmaking system. Anyway, boys, uh, you know, Keemstar and Ethan Klein. Now, this is my quick take on it. I don't exactly care how much of a lowlife scumbag asshole or not asshole or whatever fucking Keemstar is. It's just the fact that that, that piece of shit Ethan, you know, tries to uh, tries to play that he's not a piece of fucking shit by the defense that, you know, considering that guy did it, now I can do it, is a pretty fucking stupid retarded thing. So yeah, that that's my quick take on it if anyone was interested. And why do I have so many red lands again? Oh wait, I probably only have two. Ah, arena, good times. Okay, and you know what? I don't have a blue land. Wait, what? <gasps> he used essence? Man, it's been a while since I have seen essence scatter being used. Is that a real card demon? Woof! Man, that, that, that's, that's some hokey pokey stuff right there. Also, are you gonna really counter my Vivian? Good boy, don't counter her. Okay, uh, that's gonna be... Well, actually, that's gonna be useful. As strange as it may seem. Vigilance! Because this thing must be vigilant, vigilant to survive. Okay, what are we playing up against? It's 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 the colors of black, green, and uh, blue. Uh, black kills things. Green ramps and blue. Uh, draws cards. So what combination does that actually leave? Ooh, a hot choice. I know, boys. Okay, that's reasonable-ish. <sighs> okay, no one cares. Um, yeah, pretty much no one literally cares that that just happened. Ooh, oh la la, I like that. You know what I love about the Chandra? It's the simple fact that people cannot deal with her. It's like, you drop this Chandra, she's uncounterable, she doesn't... What? Oh god, these people, boys. The, these apps, these absolute animals. That should... I, I, I can't say anything else. And uh, what's this kid thing? Wait, why that... Wait, why is he using that? I don't know, but I think it's fine time to find a Genesis Ultimatum, lads. I really, really do, because it, it is time. Ah, oh, look at that. We found absolutely nothing, even of remote value. Uh, what a everything. Okay, great. Uh, I, I didn't want, I, I didn't, I, I did not want to win anyway. So this is, di wait, is this dying? He's not gonna, wait, is... What kind of dick is this guy playing? Why would you ever use a Doom Whisperer nowadays? Surveil was bad when Surveil was still good. And now Surveil is bad and Surveil is, well, still bad. So what, what, what exactly are you gonna do? Wait, did you just... Well, I'm gonna block it. He's gonna kill it otherwise anyway. Plus this gives me a little bit of a chance for that Leia's dance. Oh yes. Boom. Do I need that? Yes, I do need that! I need that in my life like I need oxygen in my life. Yeah, that did make sense. Okay, ooh, look at that, a murderous rider. No one cares. Okay, so this is the play, boys. This is 100% the play. Actually, not really, but you know, close enough. Uh, we need to get rid of this thing because I dislike it, essentially. So, we're getting rid of- wait, what? What is this deck? It's garbage stacked on garbage stacked on garbage! Why is it doing Whisper by the way 5 mana? I honestly never understood that part. But here's a, a you know, Cavalier of Glades. Okay, so sooner or later we're finding- oh, yes, boys. Oh yes, boys, we did it. We absolutely 100% did it. Genesis Ultimatum. Oh, finally! 
Do we want to block? No, we don't want to block in this situation. So, uh, here's the deal. Considering I am a very much an extremely emotional person, if this gets counterspelled, I'm just pressing the concede button. No? Oh, he can't! Ah! He can't! <laughs> Pay to! Oh my god! Okay, next Genesis ultimate. Wait, I can just attack him and he's gonna feel pain. Wait, I shouldn't attack with that. It doesn't matter. It does. It... Ah! What is this garbage deck? What's the point of this Doom Whisperer? Why didn't you block? Nothing makes sense. What is this? Why? Okay, I guess the why doesn't really matter, huh? Well, it does really. Okay, so, so, boom. Ah, oh, that hurt my hand, actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, hi, no one cares, no one cares. Okay, no one still cares. Okay, so we can do it like this, and this is gonna make us survive a little bit longer. Okay, <sighs> All he needed to do was not counterspell my Genesis ultimatum. Was that too much to ask? Like, seriously, boys. Was that too much to ask? I think no. But he did it anyway. That is blatant. And I repeat, blatant disregard for my fifis. Oh yeah, feelings. That was that, that meant feelings. So yeah, great, great, great absolute stuff, boys. Great stuff. Is this dead? Oh my god. Should have pressed the surrender button like... Why? Man, he countered... Oh, well, he just got to counter my Genesis ultimatum. But why does he have a Doom Whisperer? It's such a bad card, it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense, sadly. And he then he played the second one, which made even less sense than the first one. I I I I am I, I I don't even know what anymore. Oh God, thank thank you. It's an S avatar. It's just gonna be a simple aggro deck. Okay, I, I can deal with simple ag. Wait, what? Oh no, it's not a simple aggro deck. What's going on, game? We had a fun time previously. Are you punishing me for, you know, making a video about Jormungan yesterday? Because it seems so. Honestly, it does seem so. So yeah, let's drop this, let's see what happens, and BAM! Oh, that's relatively useful. Is it though? Yeah, it's a bit useful. We can deal damage to him or do, do naughty things. Oh wait, we can't do any of that because of reasons. Okay, great. Actually, should have probably put that one back. Yeah, who would have thought? Not having a red land has its weak points. Okay, so let's attack first with everything because we know what we're doing. Or we, you know, we're doing a good job pretending that we know what we're doing. And that was essentially a lot useless. Okay, well he's... Wait, what is this? Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh, come on, a Genesis ultimatum, and I can't do anything, and I need to copy a Fibble Bib. Wow, what, what a time to be alive. Is this, uh, oh god, no. That's super annoying. Okay, what's the plan? Well, we've just actually found a solution to our problems. Land, 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 land. That is not a land. Okay, we somehow magically managed to uh, just draw absolutely nothing of value. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. So, is this a self-mill deck? Okay, he just got a JC Kun. Uh, we lost. Four lands, no any... Oh, look at that, the Tessa. Yeah, that looks like we lose. Yep. I look pretty dead to myself, but that just happens because it's a Gurugamesh deck. Okay, let's see. Ah, one more. Yeah, this is probably an insta self mill deck if we're being honest here. Oh, he got nothing. Wow, that's rare. 
Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Play this and hope for the best again? Okay, do not tell me that this is not rigged somehow. What, 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 am I, what, what was I supposed to do? It was garbage? Oh god, wizards, please. Stop. When the algorithm doesn't apply, the game is so fun because bullshit like this just flat out does not happen. Because again, the algorithm does look at your decks differently if you put ramp. I have talked about this previously. But if you put cards that are meant to ramp, it just... You, you, it's it, it seems so awkward and unrealistic the way you draw lands and then the ramp and then the everything. It's like, you know... Shit like this, essentially. I need to mulligan that, probably. Oh, look at that. This is decent. Ish. Okay, we have no blue land. And what, what what's happening? Am I not running like... Oh, here it is, a special land. For a moment there, I was gonna say, am I not running like any dual lands or shock lands or anything? Because this looks... Uh, this That's a flyer deck. Oof. That could be a flyer deck. Oh, wait! We haven't done the flyer deck. This is not the last video of Standard. Oh, we need to abuse that new kitty that gains plus one ones for everything that happens in life. Oh! No! Damn it! Ah, oh, whatever. We're gonna quickly do that tomorrow. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Oh, look at that, he's choosing different arts for every land. What's that? Wait, what? Did you seriously just do that? Yeah, it's definitely a flyer's deck, which definitely does not bode well for your boy right here, boys. Well, honestly, on one hand... Uh, I need a do Will I not get a land again? It's like, this Vivian is like, looking at... Uh, looking at looking us right there in the face and she's saying I'm available I know I'm just barely a 6 6.35 but you know availability and look at this we can't we missed the land drop enemy could not miss a land drop well actually we got the worst land possible so yeah uh, now we're completely behind and he's probably dropping one more Emperor Eagle most likely. Oh no, he sacked? Ew. Scary Kajeri boys. Ew. I dislike that a lot. Okay, he's gonna try and kill my Vivian Chun like absolutely no questions asked. And we're prepared for it. And by prepared, I mean we're obviously ill prepared. Uh, Reach. Good luck, boy. You're gonna need it. Hopefully you're an aggro deck brain and you're gonna just go all in face. You know, because that would work. Okay. Can we cast Genesis Alt? Ah, oh, and of course he gets it. Of course. How is this even remotely fair? We're not getting anything. Nothing has been got. None of this works. Oh, Jesus Christ. Got the Skyblade. But she is... Oh, I love that Skyblade, though. Anyway, yeah. Great, great game, wizards. Well, so what? First game was just, 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 I don't know what. The second game was get screwed, and everything has since been the same get screwed type of situation. One land off, and even when we get it because we have that slight sliver of a chance, uh, he still drops the sky blade. Oh boy. Yeah. We're playing against decks that literally have it out for us. Damn! No, seriously, damn. That, that this, uh, this is quite disappointing to a huge degree. Okay, a bunch of things. Oh, look at that, we finally found our Hydra. Lurus! Okay, Fibble, Bib, you're gonna do, do wonderfully here, I feel. 
Lotus is gonna be a well, it depends. So is this gonna be someone who starts with one drops and then just starts off, you know, gets the four lands, gets the 100% protection on Lotus, and and drops some uh, vampire waifus? You know, the way it's currently been going on, I would not be too surprised. He also even gets to go first, and there it is. He drops something. Well, it's not a vampire waifu, but you know, literally as threatening. Okay, also I love the concept of go uh, allowing aggro decks to go first. Now seriously, they should probably implement a rule that this allows aggro decks to go first. Okay. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's absolutely peachy. Honestly, what else did I expect? Probably not a lot, huh? Oh yeah, that's right, exactly not a lot. Yeah, two Knights of Feebon Legion. Amazing. 10 out of 10 even. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Was there really no other card you could have gotten? But the deadliest one drop? Yeah, I'm not surprised at this point. I, I, I really, for some reason, aren't. Okay, so what do we do? We drop this, and... Well, we have the lands, but now we don't... It, well, you know. Got lands screwed. Ooh, look at that. Fiddle did. Yeah, he just got put back in the deck. Okay, now a scorpion. That's also a really good one drop. Done slavery. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so... Do that. An Uru. Titan of stuff. That's that's useful. So, the idea with the Spark Double is we can uh, Spark Double Hydras. Okay, are uh, you gonna instantaneously protect it? Or just get rid of my Fibble Bib? Ah, uh, get rid of the Fibble Bib, of course. Well, it doesn't really matter to us now, does it? But, you know, still... Point being, okay, we got the Genesis Ultimatum, which is pretty rad and bread. But the real question is, what the hell are we supposed to do? It's not like we have a lot of a lot of things that we can do. We, we can drop a Hydra and Spark Double it, but for some reason I feel that, you know, we're not exactly going to be in a safety position after that. Also, we're dead. Literally next turn, and there's most likely not a single thing we can do about it, because again... Knights of Ebon Legion, the perfect one drop, as they say. Okay, so, well, oh, look at that, we're finding a lot of gen Genesis Ultim- HOW IS THIS HAPPENING?! Okay, ah. Uh, this has been literally one of the most unlucky magic sessions in the history of magic. Also, I have a Z ZG raid to attend to, so yeah, that's probably gonna be it for today. So yeah, we're probably gonna do a Flyers deck because, you know, this card is... Well, Flyer decks were complete uh, bullshit before even, but you know, now now they're a little bit a lot more bullshit because of this card. Skycat Sovereign get, gets plus one one for each creature you control with flying. What a great card! What an absolute bomber of a ca- Oh wait, it's- it's horrible. This should have not existed. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is the deck. It's on- it's pretty good, it's pretty fun, but man, what- what- what was all of that? Seriously, what was that? Well, it's probably time to replace this with, I don't know, something that deals a little bit of deeps. You know? No, seriously, we could just do that. And maybe it would be better. Honestly, I don't think it will be a lot better. But this is an option. Well, then you also get... You remove a spark double or something and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, well, you can just do it like this. This is an option. Is it a good option? No, because you yourself need the ramp. So it's never gonna be the greatest option in ever. Also, you have Planeswalkers. But honestly, considering what just happened, yeah, this is this is probably, like, kind of at least a little bit good, right? But yeah, you choose that for yourself, boys. Anyway, so this was Kuzar Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.